Hi everyone, I'm Tony from SUS.com. Today I want to update you guys with new developments that we have just released recently. So what I have here is called the hand grip uh, or thermal hand grip or thermal handhold system where you have a fully view pro camera and then you have a monitor. Uh, I have a mirror image here so you can see easier. Uh, this is the monitor and I have a touchscreen controller right here. Uh, so I can control a few things, hand and tilt the camera, I can do, I can change color palettes, I can um, do an FFC to reset the camera when it is uh, non-uniform like this, do digital zoom on this. So, uh, it's a flip view pro camera that you normally put on a drone, but now everything fits in your hand. I can show you that this is removable, and actually, this is something you have already seen and know it is called the viewer touch standard for the Phantom 4 or something of Inspire 2, Inspire 1 and in fact I have a Phantom 4 here and uh, I'm going to slide it to the back and you can have it on a drone as well so our philosophy is that uh, our view IR product Thermal Vision should be drone independent an agnostic and can function anyway. They have batteries to power themselves up so they don't have to rely on any, any external power source so you can move everywhere around and so we are very happy to finally develop such a handle for you to maximize the usage of your uh, thermal vision cameras. So you buy a uh, view touch standard you can, uh, you can put it on drone or you can move it to a handle like this and do ground inspection. I have another version of the handhold thermal system in my hand right here. Now it has HD digital video downlink and a tablet to control everything. You can see it right here. I can change color palettes and I can uh, pan it to it well, zoom, just everything. So there's a sharp contrast between the analog version and the HD version. The analog has a separate monitor for, for video, a touch screen separately for controlling everything. But the HD version, uh, besides having stronger signal, also everything is integrated in just one app on the tablet. So you can view video and control everything as well. This thing is also not unfamiliar with us. As you recall, it is called the Viewer Tab HD for FullView Pro. Again, the same FullView Pro camera we made an analog version and a tap in HD digital video version. And I can show that I can move from the handhold handle to the a drone like a Phantom Inspire 2. So this is tripod mountable, so if you don't want to mount it on a DJI controller like we've done so far, uh, you could mount this on a tripod and quickly swap from the handle to the drone or back to do aerial inspection and back to ground inspections. Again, our philosophy is to make everything drone independent, can power by themselves, um, and then now we have fully shown that actually you can use this on the ground without a drone. Talking about your touch standard, I have an update for you. That is this version here, right here, is with premium quality plastic. So for a long time we've used a, an economy version of plastic. The cosmetic might be a problem to uh, some people because uh, you will see some details that are not uh, great but because we have been using them for a long time based on our experience uh, customer report they don't have any problem but this is the uh, premium version with uh, high quality plastic and you can see the look has increased significantly um, and the detail is great uh, durability is increased I mean, economy version, you don't have to worry too much about the durability and functionality. Everything works fine. Uh, but if you are into the look of it, the professional looking, this is the version for you. 
Another update I want to show you is that uh, here I have a Mavic 2 and people have asked us if we could fit the a Flivvy Pro on a Mavic 2. Uh, that seems a difficult task because the Mavic normally is uh, small and not strong enough but since the Mavic 2 has the 4S battery so in fact it does work. Uh, we've created this quick mount system for the Mavic 2 and you can use the same viewer touch standard that you've been using to fit on it and in fact we are we have been flying it outside and you can see it flies very well without any problem still we would recommend using at least a Phantom 4 or Inspire 1 Inspire 2 to carry this uh, Mavic 2, it's okay, maybe you can do a, a short range building inspection and you can do this. So again, to sum up, uh, we have handheld for three system: the Viewer Touch Standard, Viewer Touch Pro, uh, Viewer Touch HD, the, uh, the HD Digital Viewer Downlink. We have the high quality product, high quality plastic coming for Viewer Touch Standard and other versions, View Touch Pro and Tap HD, and finally we've been able to fit a View Touch standard on a Mavic 2 and it flies great. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave be below or contact us or go to our website suas.com and please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button, give us a thumbs up to encourage us to do more for, of this kind of this video. Thank you.